The news about Johnson & Johnson coming as the makers of Pfizer and Moderna told Congress yesterday that there is a supply surge on the way. Kaylee Tracy's on your side. She spoke with a doctor on the First Coast who's heading up the local vaccine trials about whether a single dose of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine as, is as effective as the two together, as a new study found. And Kaylee joins us now live with those details. Kaylee? Yeah, Heather, Dr. Michael Corrin, who works out of here at the Jacksonville Center for Clinical Research, he tells me that that new data does show that after about 10 days after your first dose, that you do have a good level of protection, but he wants to remind everyone watching, this is preliminary data. I'm optimistic. I would say probably about 40% of Floridians are now immune to COVID-19, either by virtue of being vaccinated or by having had the illness. Dr. Michael Corrin, who heads up local vaccine trials in Jacksonville, cautiously optimistic about the current state of COVID-19. Something else that makes him hopeful? New data that suggests one dose of either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines offers us a good amount of protection. So you hardly see any infections 10 days after the first dose, even up through the time of the second dose, which would indicate, at least for the short term, that one dose of Pfizer or Moderna vaccines are quite protective. So why tell the public to take two doses? Corin says just like everything else with COVID-19, there's a lot we didn't and still don't know. And when people get together and design the research protocols, we're taking guesses. You know, there's some things that we know and there's some things we don't know. And for the things that we don't know, we make educated guesses. He says new data also shows that the second shot can have more side effects, like chills, aches, and pains than the first. Corin says if you've had COVID-19, wait 90 days after your infection is gone before getting at least one dose. But I do believe that if you've had COVID and one dose of vaccine, you may have a, a few more side effects and more severe side effects from the second dose of vaccine because now you're talking about your third exposure to the proteins from COVID-19. So I, I'm personally not requiring that for my patients that ask my advice, but every doctor may have a different opinion about that. And it would certainly be important to review your personal health history with a physician before making that decision. Coming up at six, what doc Dr. Corrin says is the difference between the efficacy rates between Pfizer and Moderna's vaccine and that new Johnson & Johnson vaccine, and if he does recommend one over the others. For now, reporting live on the South Side, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side. Kaylee, thank you. Governor Ronda.